Hi friends, today we are going to talk about something that is new and probably in s it's much better. It's this transaction SC16H. So you can see it's like SC16N on steroids. Okay, so let's do it. SC16H, this is the transaction. Okay, so we go here and suppose I want to see, I go to VBAC, okay, and I want to see what are the different uh, different uh, documents that has been created based on some doc type okay so here you have sales doc type what i have to do is just i just need to make sure because this the, the only problem i feel is just need to be aligning and this is the one and i'll click group so if i click on group and i just execute okay it will give me all the different sales document type and the number of entries isn't it wonderful uh, instead of you always asking the vapor hey write me something this and they are always grumbling oh i have to move a transport you can do it at one go 16h okay now suppose this is what we did now if you want to sort it okay so suppose you want to sort it by uh suppose let's see sort it by order reason i don't know that would be a good one or sorted by delivery block or billing block mm, let me see uh, sorted by created by okay so i'll just sort it by created by and we'll see how it looks so the valid from oh, I, that's the problem i saw is the valid from you know created by i clicked on created by right uh, and oh this also gets created by I select it, execute. Okay, so here you can see number of entries. It is sorted by, but the value from is still coming for some reason. Okay, so I don't know. I selected created. Oh, I'm selecting this. Sorry, created by. Okay, so and I'm executing. Here you can see all the created by number of entries and all. This is really nice because you can see now another piece that you can probably see you is suppose if you want to say group it by document currency also okay and um, so we will do this group it by document currency so we have the grouping of document currency also now this is really nice now we'll go to another one the net value okay the price so what i'm going to do is here i will change it i will use a different so i don't know you can put different sequence here also now what i'm going to do is here i will use this effect so we'll use sort and uh, no aggregation and we'll see app maximum okay let's see how this looks okay net value we have document currency or that blow ups or not so here you can see it, it is the maximum value is this with 32,800 and all those things so this this is really nice and if you want to sort it let me do a sort on the value mm, where is the value sort it by the value i'll take this sort away and i'll execute and here it's sorting it ascending i think there is a way you can do it sorted descending so let me see sort type here descending i love this sort descending okay <laughs> and see here you can get all this so this is pretty nice now the greater another important thing this is just the table if i want i can use a view so this is the view i just did some uh, uh, homework and this is a view i'm going to use and here suppose this is a view for ekko ekp okay and suppose i want to see what are the different uh, company codes okay it's being grouped by company code how many po's are getting created by company code okay and i click execute okay and here i can see the number of entries and i have selected vendor also i think somewhere so here we have company code is it the, oh see that, that's the only problem i can see is this thing uh i miss so i click execute and uh, the next one you see the different company code okay the next portion is the i'll select the vendor okay so i think if if it could have been highlighted it's a better easy because we are getting older and it's difficult to see these things 
So we'll just execute and here you can see the number of entries that are created for number of purchase orders created for this particular company code for this event. Now we'll just play with the amount. Okay, so we will see, let me see whether we have some amount. Play with PO quantity, we have net value, love it. Uh, we have net value here. And the greatest thing, if you see, we can total. So this thing was new. So I'll just click on total and I'll click on execute. And here, if you think, if I scroll down, uh, so, oops, oops, made a mess. Uh, if you see here, it's totaling out everything, or is it not? Uh, let me see. Net value. It's net value is total, and it's no aggregate. So let me take this out, and I'll execute it like this. So we next messing it up a little more. Okay, and I'll execute. And here you see the net value is this. 534 entries and this is the total okay there's total 34 534 purchase order so that's a beauty now here what i'm going to do is i'll just go back make sure this is the one i think probably if i do tap 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 i think that's the way to do it so i'll just do group and i can do if you want i can do sort i will not do sort but i'll play with the net value so i'll just say uh, <clears throat> we'll use aggregate and we'll find the maximum and we'll sort it and we'll say descending and we will sort it by we'll group by again render i'll use tap 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 okay it's much easier than doing a parallel i don't i've never developed a smartphone because you know with the ruler business so i think the ruler thing is coming back i which one to select so now i'll just hit execute and here you can see it's sorted this is this is perfect okay and i think it's really nice i think another piece i think you can see what is this delete all entries oops i don't want these things i don't know what is this for but here another thing is database connection i think you can do an rfc to your old system and get the data fetched out provided you have proper roles and all those things now this piece I haven't really explored maintenance of outer join or something. Uh, probably it's, this is also pretty useful. Probably I'll cover it in another place. But for, for for now, I think this is really good. You can you can use it, and you can see based on the quantity, the value, the total field goes up. We have the groups. What is the sequence? So sequence is probably I can sequence it. Well, I'll put two and this I'll put one. No, probably company code I'll put two. This will be one and anything else. Do we have something else on the other side now? Uh, so sometimes you, you know, you have to hit SAP to know all the hidden stuff. So if I do one, two, you see the vendor came first, company code came second, and all those things. So this is pretty nice. I love it and i think uh, the business would love this same thing okay and it will help a lot in removing probably so good as i said it's a sc16n on steroid and it also helps a lot on the ABAP query side also and simple reports you shouldn't be building okay these are really good stuff that probably s4 hana has built uh if you want probably we can build your layout let me see uh, I execute and here if I want to click details uh, here it will show the details or uh, it will show the other other fields that are available that's nice and here if you want like just like any other SAP screen you can just click change layout and we will just say we can add more things here and we click save as and we'll just say test and it's a global default layout i just make it and make this like this and once i go outside i think probably i'll get the yeah here it is so it's simple it's standard sap stuff that you can do there are other stuffs probably 
uh, extra change settings okay what can be sent okay so here you can see technical name so these are some other stuffs that you can do this is really helpful uh, it's maximum number of hits you want to take it off probably and save list uh, last layout automatically and all those things so this is this is really technical column name leads okay technical views okay these things are pretty useful okay so that's it uh stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and i think sc16h is a really good uh, feature that is available in sap s corona and probably you should be using it regularly okay that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have, have a good day